Our next guest is a star of Media Social and Not. His name is Jake Shane. He's got 3.2 million followers on his TikTok account, Octopus Lover 8. The 24-year-old got his start reviewing his favorite food. That, of course, would be octopus. Not Gail's favorite food, by the way. No. He went viral sharing improv-style videos, acting out scenes requested by followers. And next month, he will kick off a live tour in 21 cities for his podcast, Therapus, which features therapy sessions with friends and celebrities. Here's a clip. Welcome back to Therapus, and welcome Ed Sheeran to Therapus. Hey, Ed. Oh, that was the best intro ever. Did next you time, actually I'll bring me something. Next time, yeah, I did. People. Oh my god! Uh, shut up. You've always wanted one of these. Ooh, nanny, 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 nanny. How she walk through swinging that body? Yeah, and who gon' stop me? I'm churning out like three scripts a day right now. Oh so yeah, I'm for like, those who you know. don't know, Glenn <laughs> at Aloe every single day. I walk in and he's on the treadmill, dripping sweat, flipping through a script. <laughs> And Jake Shane joins us now. Jake, thank you very much for being here. Thank, no, Jake. Thank you yeah, for, for real. Me. Yeah, no, that's why I was having fun with the you know social media star. You're just a star at yeah. this point. Oh, stop! Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I think it's fair to say. So, uh, how how did this begin? You, you we asked you earlier what you want to be when you grew up, and you said famous. Well, yes. it's been accomplished. Thank you. <laughs> um, I was really I kind of had like a senioritis my senior year of college. I was taking like a break from this internship. I was was having and I started this octopus account where I would review octopus and it was just photos. Do you like octopus? I love. Why? Um, it's the chicken of the sea. Okay. And so I like it grilled. Okay. I don't like it raw. Like so you can get it like in like sushi. That's not my favorite but I do as like um, a connoisseur like I do have to eat all of it and then I rate it out of eight tentacles so that's like where it started. <laughs> And then it kind of moved to videos and then from Instagram it moved to TikTok and then I just started posting more TikTok videos and it just kind of like kept growing and growing yeah. and growing. Tense up. This is the thing. Jill. Tense up. Tense yes. up. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. What are you therapist about today? Um, what am I therapist about today? I forgot my retainer home. <laughs> so every time I brush my teeth, my gap, like you can see it more because like the food comes out and then I'm like, ugh. But Jake, this is the thing that I think is so endearing about you, because you do wear your heart on your sleeve. You Thank get the you. celebrities that come in, and you you create such a relaxed environment. Mm -hmm. And I get the impression that you genuinely care about the people who are listening to you. I do. And you generally want to have a conversation with these people. You're not nervous. Where do you get your confidence from? You're just sitting there. I feel like I'm a fly on the wall when I'm sitting there watching you. Thank you. That's like really what I wanted to get out of the podcast. I wanted it to feel like a hangout less than hangout. like a, uh, an interview really. They're and at your house. Uh, yes, uh -huh. yes, at my house. That's your furniture. Yeah, yes, uh -huh. yes. And I, 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 I am very, very nervous. So thank you for saying I don't come across it. But I did learn in my Pilates class the other day that confidence was fake. So that's like what I've been like, man, like kind of like doing. Um, so <laughs> so you, you said that you knew you wanted to be famous when you were younger. I feel like there is a generation to come that will wake up with the same type of mindset. I just want to be famous, but they don't know how. What is your best bit of advice for someone who looks at the social media landscape and says, I think I'm special, I want to do something special, but I don't know where to start? You literally just need to be so authentically you. It's like, it, you like, question, like, you're like, can I do, can I, is this fine? Like, <laughs> you know, like I, when everything kind of happened, it all kind of happened over a week, I was like, should I still post the medication I'm taking in the morning? Should I still post how angry I am? Should I, like. But isn't that difficult to be authentically you? It's difficult. And to be judged. And to, and to it's difficult, but my, commu the community of people that I have are so supportive and we're like genuinely friends that like, I just feel so validated yeah. that I'm very lucky. Your vulnerability mm. allows other people to be vulnerable too. That's true. It, it does. So you're going on the road with your podcast. Yes. And what do you want people to know about you and about who you are? You said, I'm Jake Shane and what I am is... Very anxious. Um, I just want to make you laugh 
and I want to entertain you. Yeah. Mm. Mission well, accomplished. Well, mission accomplished on that front, and you don't need to be anxious about filling seats on this podcast tour because, Jake, uh, it's sold out. Yes! <laughs> sold out? Sold out. Yes. Jake! Yes. You're, doing, you're doing press for something people can't even go to. Maybe you'll post a video, right? Yes, uh, yes. Jane, uh, Jake Shane, thank you very much. Appreciate it. And as I said, Jake's Congrats. sold out Therapist Live podcast tour heads to 21 cities beginning October 7th. Maybe you can party outside. Ooh. We'll be right back. <laughs>